Hello, it's your host back again, Lights, Camera, and Action! Today's video is going to be about how to torrent legally. Now, a common misconception is that torrenting is illegal, which is false. In fact, torrenting wasn't created to be illegal to begin with. The whole concept of torrenting is a peer-to-peer -peer network in order to share files simultaneously through 30, 60, hundreds of different computers rather than someone paying for a host. As an example, if you go to a website and you download a program, usually you know big company websites have their information up. They have a host, a, a whole dedicated server for you downloading their stuff. So if it's a bigger thing like a movie, right, they have different servers usually in the west coast, east coast, different this country, that country to make it faster for the for the person. But if someone is trying to share gigabyte, gigabyte, gigabyte files with someone or their friend from across the world or you know, their consumers and they're a small business, they don't want to pay for server hosting. What they do is they torrent. So basically, all these computers in the network are instead of having the server and the computer and you sending it back up to them and them sending it back to you, it's a torrent. So there's a bunch of different computers sharing information. So it makes it faster. So it's not inherently illegal, but the, obviously, as we've seen, as I'm sure some of you have dealt with or seen, torrenting is can be legal and usually is illegal on how a lot of people go about torrenting. They go on websites like the Pirate Bay, they download videos, movies, books, they download everything and anything and videos and, and they'll get a letter from their ISP eventually stating that this company is trying to get your information because they want to you know file a lawsuit. Here's a you know case number in 30 days or 60 days, 90, depending on you know your ISP and everything like that. We're going to give up your information to this company and they're going to go after you. That's you know where we get a lot of clients to come in. You know we deal with this day in and day out. We get companies like Malibu Media, Strike Three Holdings, FlavorWorks. So what websites have public domain stuff or community made stuff? Well, I would steer away from websites like the Pirate Bay. Not only do they have CD advertisers, no pun intended. There's no way to tell if if something's legal or illegal or if someone owns it. Um, there's a good website, archive.org, eTree. So archive.org has you know public domain stuff, software, music, websites, book, or just user created things. And I would always double check, but uh, you know most of that on that website is is free to use and perfectly legal to torrent. Just like software is like Linux. A lot of people torrent Linux perfectly legal because you know. You know, open source code and everything like that. So that's a, you know that's a way to torrent legally. E Tree is is they stream concerts or they have you know concerts that were pre recorded and that they've given permission. Have a, you know not everyone is legal to use. So you do again double check on that. There's also a website that game updates. A lot of people torrent game updates because you purchase the game and you're you know entitled to the most current update. So. You can download game updates directly from there. Whole whole load of stuff. Today I'll be showing you what you know, kind of the basic website you can go on and go in and legally torrent. And you know, let's say it's a Saturday night, you want to watch a movie with a date, friends and family. Well, you can either go to you know community created movies if you don't have any of the streaming services, Netflix and and Hulu and things like that. You can go to a community created movie or low budget movie. Some sometimes some of those are you know legal to torrent and they give you permission a lot of times the public domain the movies back you know the 60s 50s that they haven't updated their copyright a long time they haven't renewed it so it's public domain it becomes public domain people can use it and you'll you know you can double check you can see a lot of these on you'll see the whole movie post on YouTube and you're like wow how is a whole movie on YouTube well that's because it's public domain torrents and there's a couple things that you want to make sure that you have done for starters I always recommend having a VPN. So I have NordVPN here, and right now I'm, I'm connected to some, somewhere else in the United States. It's just as a precursor, just to make sure that, um, again, because when you do torrent, people see your information, your personal info, so I always recommend getting a, a VPN. I'll show you, I'll link the description down below of another video showing you that I'm gonna make you know, in a couple days how to use a VPN correctly and, and what are some trusted ones that ins and outs. So that's something to keep a, keep a hold of. So um, sometimes I'll go in and I'll go public domain movies so you can see some good movies. And, and I have to say that usually I 
prefer older movies to begin with. So this is, is, is good for me. Um, so you can look up public domain movies, but right here I have public domain torrents. It's a website, and as a disclaimer, make sure, again, that what you're downloading here has not been renewed. It's completely public domain. All the music's public domain in it. Just make sure that before you download it. So um, in my last video, I did a boy and his dog, so I'm going to go do it here again. I see it as the first one, funny enough. So I'm going to open the link. It's going to take me here. It's going to show me some clips and, and talk about, you know, some description and everything like that um so here you go and here are the links right here so you can click here for imdb for abi for mp4 um and you can go up you can see all the info about it so let's go for dvi or div excuse me which is a um basically it once it downloads i mean they're all torrent files but once it downloads it'll convert to a you know it's an avi movie which is cool, you can do it for PSP, so you can have the PSP file and load it on there. Very cool stuff, and you know, perfectly legal. Um, so you go on here, and so obviously I have uTorrent um, as a side cursor. Let me um, show you how to accept this. So yeah, so this is where it goes to. Um, you know, everything checks out. And while that's starting up there, yeah, let me show you um, uTorrent. We're not sponsored by them at all, but that is something that is one that I have always trusted. Um, obviously, you can't trust anything fully, but I've always had the best results with uTorrent. Uh, it's very customizable, and I'll show you some of the um, settings right now. Um, so what I do, so while this is going, um, basically for this um, on my computer, I do not torrent. Um, I just prefer not to. I rather not risk anything. Um, but so I have turned off downloading and and uploading and. For torrenting, if you actually want to upload, um, or I should say download, obviously don't turn these settings on, but if you only want to download and you don't want to upload, which is recommended, uh, but you can also be called a leech. So you upload, you don't upload files back, but you take everyone's files. So you're basically leeching, but it does protect you. So yeah, you're leeching, but again, every man for themselves on the internet, especially, right? So... Right here, I have my peers off. So, so right here, if I had them on, you'd be able to see your their IP address, client flags, download speed, upload speed. That's why right here for the IP, I have my VPN on so they cannot see anything about me. They can't see where I am located because a lot of the times too, your IP address can tell you exactly where you're located, which is scary, scary stuff. So I don't want anyone to know that. I don't know want anyone to know what I'm doing, even though it's uTorrent. Any of these little things, the upload speed, um, and how much uploaded. Um, I always want that to be close to zero as possible. Um, again, you know, call me a leecher, but I like to stay safe. Um, so you can go to right here, you can go to um, preferences on uTorrent, and you have some, you know, UI preferences and things, but you can go to connections, um, go to bandwidth. So basically, in bandwidth, I right now I have downloading limited as well and maximum numbers of uh, peer to peer torrents. Basically, just for the video purposes, I don't torrent, and I downloaded this again. So yeah, so I just downloaded this for the video, but um, so I, I want to turn all this off. But basically, the only things you should turn off are anything having to do with upload rate or seeding. So zero is unlimited, so you want to change it to one. Alternate rate when not doing kilobytes per second, also do one. Um, your download rate, you want obviously unlimited because you want to download all the files that are available. Um, you know, I've I've rate limits just. I just you know want to stay safe right now, and, and I don't even want to torrent anything right now. But um, if you go down to transfer cap, I always change my transfer cap to uploads, and right you know it's on uploads and downloads right now. But change to uploads and do it only one millibyte um, for one day. You just want to again just keep everything low, even if it's legal. You just want to keep everything low, everything legal, and everything safe because it's also about safety is a big part too. So you go down and you see. Um, Minimum seeding time. So I do not want seeding. You do not want seeding because seeding, um, again, you'll be called a leecher, but at the same time, you're protecting yourself, right? So seeding um, is what, after you download the file, it will, if you have seeding on, it'll continuously, whenever you're connected to an internet source, you'll continuously be seeding the info back to other people. So you'll, you know, if you're illegally downloading, you'll get e even more trouble. Um, but legally downloading, you still, yeah, I guess if it's legal, it's okay to help. But again, you don't, you know, sometimes you don't always have your VPN on. And there are a lot of 
good people out there that <laughs> are out there that deal with us leechers. Um, and I will call them good people because they have their dedicated servers and they, you know, they have their computers up and they're willing to uh, seed things they care about or the uploader. So I will say there are people out there that are better equipped than the common person to, you know, seed but at the same time, you know, keep themselves safe and protected. So leave it to them. Leave it to those guys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to apply because, you know, I don't want to change anything. So that's basically it. That's how you seed, le you know, that's how you torrent legally. Once it gets torrented, it'll give me the files and, you know, go from there. What 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 I uh, want to do with it and etc. So if someone tells you that torrenting is illegal, probably you hear it on the news from a smart friend who thinks he's a know-it-all. Show him this video because while my opinion is while torrenting is legal, um, I don't think it's necessary if you're doing le legal things, excuse me. So, you know, a lot of public domain things you can find online, you can find on YouTube, you know, a lot of public, you know, a lot of softwares you can find at other places. So I, I don't directly recommend torrenting, um, but that is how you do it safely, securely, privately, and legally. So thank you very much for watching again another one of my videos. Keep a lookout for my video in the next couple days on how to use a VPN, how to select the correct VPN, and how to do everything like that. So look out for that video. Thanks for watching again. As always, Lights, Camera, and Action, your host, and I will see you on the other side. Legal notice disclaimer. The foregoing is general legal information only and not legal advice or a substitute for legal advice. The information may not be accurate, complete, or current. Do not rely on our videos. The law office of Stephen C. Vondren, Vondren Legal, is licensed to practice law in California and Arizona. The decision to hire a lawyer is an important one and should not be based on attorney advertising alone. This is an advertisement and communication. We do not handle all calls in all cases.